Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Steadfast Unto the End, June 13th. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Hebrews 3.14 We must all exercise faith. I am praying to the Lord to give me strength and help and clearness of mind, and I believe he hears my prayers. We are exhorted to be sober and watch unto prayer. But this does not mean that we are to mourn and repine like orphaned children. True, the struggle for continual advancement in the Christian life must be lifelong, but our advancement in the heavenly path may be hopeful. If we manifest an intense energy proportionate to the object for which we are striving, even eternal life, we are made partakers of Christ and of all the rich graces he is willing and ready to give to those who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, we shall see the King in his glory. I do not ask for smooth paths, but I do supplicate my Heavenly Father for an increase of faith that I may surmount every apparent difficulty. He is able and willing to give us the Comforter, but we must have firmness and decision, maintaining under all circumstances a pure Christian integrity and confidence in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The exhortation comes to us, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Second Peter 3 verse 17 Eternal interests are to be gained, even the salvation of our own souls, and every day we are to watch and be sober. Yet we are to be cheerful, thanking the Lord for his blessings. We must have faith, living faith. God is our efficiency, the source of all power. His resources cannot be exhausted. We can have a daily abundant supply. For every one whose hands seem to be weakening and losing their hold, I have the word, grasp the standard more firmly. Faith says, go forward. You must not fail nor be discouraged. There is no weakness of faith in him who is constantly advancing. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.